Asaclovir with its important anti-herpes brothers, Famsaclovir and Valsaclovir. So basically, the virally infected cell has a DNA polymerase inside it, which is an enzyme that the virus can use to build its own DNA. This DNA polymerase, the viral DNA polymerase, will use a guanosine, which is a building block that it will use to build the viral DNA. Now, acyclovir is essentially a, a rigged or defected guanosine. So with the defected guanosine goes inside the cell, the acyclovir, and the DNA polymerase will take this defected DNA and will build a defected viral DNA. And this is essentially how acyclovir works. We can use the medication for herpes simplex viruses, varicella, and in high enough concentration for Epstein-Barr virus. Now keep in mind, the medication has to be taken in the primary episodes with the patient. So if the patient has the symptoms for a long time, you will have less effect. You have, to take, you have to take it early. For the main side effects of acyclovir, it will cause crystals within the kidney. And these crystals will clog up the kidney and cause kidney damage. So the GFR will decrease, creatinine will increase, and the patient will have renal failure. Now this will happen with every acyclovir use in every patient. But luckily we can counteract this by excessive hydration. Simple as that. So when you hydrate the patient a lot, the kidneys will work kind of over time, and this excess water will dilute these crystals and the patient will not have re renal failure. Very important note for acyclovir, and this is commonly tested in exams, is that once the acyclovir goes inside the cell, it will have to be activated by a viral enzyme called thymidine kinase. So the, the acyclovir, the defected guanosine, will go inside the cell and will use the viral enzyme thymidine kinase to be activated and then it can be integrated by DNA polymerase as we have explained and this will build defected viral DNA that will result in viral death. Now the virus, viruses can actually be very smart because they can kind of uh, defect their own thymidine kinase so they can change the structure of thymidine kinase and this will block the incoming acyclovir and prevent it from being activated. So the mechanism of resistance is changing in the thymidine kinase thus preventing the activation of acyclovir.